what I think your next drone should be after the DJI FPV drone, that coming up right after this. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Ryan, and on this channel we do a lot of tips, tricks, and reviews, mostly drone-related, but also some photography-related reviews. If that's something you're interested in, consider hitting that subscribe button, it's greatly appreciated. So right off the bat, you can probably tell from the title of this video, the drone I think you should have next is actually this one. It's by Emacs, it's the Baby Hawk 2. HD and it is just amazing. So if you're ready to move to the next step in traditional FPV drones, I really think you should consider this one. That I've flown everything all the way up to 7 inch FPV drones. I don't think that someone who hasn't done much FPV flying should jump straight into a 5 inch or 7 inch FPV drone. Number one, they're really fast. Number two, they can be dangerous. So if you do get into trouble, you're probably not going to cause too much bodily harm uh, or property damage if you do end up crashing this. Another nice thing about this particular drone is it's also a good backyard flyer and it does fly like a 5 inch FPV drone. So a little bit about the drone. This is Emacs's first offering in the HD realm. Uh, pr before they've been all analog, and I used to fly analog quite a bit, and I loved Emacs drones. They just, they're tuned really well out of the box. So the DJI FPV drone is a five, considered a five inch drone, meaning they have five inch propellers. This one is a three and a half inch drone. Uh, so each of these are prop, each of these propellers are three and a half inches in diameter. Uh, so a little bit smaller. One really nice thing about it is it's extremely quiet and it just rides on rails and I'll do a flight demonstration here shortly. So on top of this, right now I've got the SMO 4K. Uh, this is a essentially a stripped down Insta360 ONE R camera. Uh, we have developed a mount to mount that onto this drone. Uh, it's actually just a uh, essentially GoPro mount. You can mount any GoPro or a uh, naked GoPro or again this SMO 4K. So uh, both these pieces are available in our on our website. I'll leave links in the description below for those. The battery that they recommend is a 4 cell 850 milliamp hour battery, uh, a LiPo battery, and I've been getting about seven minutes flight time out of that. Uh, being somewhat aggressive, you know, six and a half to seven minutes. If you want even longer flight times, I would recommend, I would recommend this, which is a lithium ion battery pack. It is a four cell, 3000 milliamp hour. Now the weight of it is quite a bit heavier. Uh, so you will notice that the drone won't be slightly as responsive, but if you're just doing a lot of cruising around, I actually got 23 minutes of flight time using this battery pack on this drone. I'll just run through a quick video of that 23 minute flight. By the end of it, my thumbs were actually getting tired, so there's that. All right, so now if you're moving from the DJI FPV drone, you haven't done anything else uh, in the FPV world, a couple things you are gonna need. Obviously, you're gonna need some battery packs. Again, this drone is recommended to have the 850 milliamp four cell battery LiPo pack or that uh, four cell 3000 milliamp hour lithium ion battery. You will also need a way to charge those batteries. I recommend a uh, Toolkit RC charger. They're, they actually have two of them. There's one that is a XT60 plug and another one that's an XT30 plug. I prefer the actually the XT60 plug because if you do ever want to go up and do some of those uh, larger drones like the five inch, those typically take the XT60. This one takes the smaller XT30 plug. So another thing that you're gonna need is you're gonna need a remote control. As of the recording of this video, the DJI remote control for the FPV drone does not work with the standard air units in these other drones. So what I recommend is actually DJI's own controller. It is uh, made specifically to work with the uh, DJI digital system. Uh, it's about $300. Uh, we'll also leave links in the description below for that as well. If you wanna go a cheaper route, you can do something like the Radio Master TX16 and uh, those are good, but you're, all, you're getting away from DJI's kind of all-in-one setup. All you need is a uh, air, 
air unit or a Vista unit in your drone in order to get this remote and the goggles to work. You don't need any other video transmitter. You don't need any other receiver, anything like that to get this set up to work. So just a quick note about the goggles. These gog the goggles that you got with your DJI FPV kit will work with these that work on the Vista and Air units. So any of the drones that ha either have a Vista unit or Air unit, it will work. You will have to go into the settings in your, in your goggles and switch it over to FPV mode in order to get that to work. Now, you'll see that my goggles are a little bit different. Right now, I just have all my other FPV stuff set up on my original goggles, my V1 goggles, because I have um, a special antenna system in there. Actually, a really good antenna system. I do not recommend this if you are also using the DJI FPV drone because these are only 5.8 gigahertz uh, where the DJI FPV drone requires 2.4 and 5.8 gigahertz to work. So you're actually going to need to do a little bit of setup in a app called Betaflight. Uh, Betaflight, there's a lot of tutorials out there. I'll recommend you to Joshua Bardwell's channel. He is a Betaflight expert. Uh, I'll leave links to his channel also in the description and uh, he will be able to help you get set up. Here's just a quick run through of what I had to do in Betaflight in order to get it set up with my radio and as well as my goggles and all that stuff. Uh, you will need to also bind everything together. Uh, it's pretty easy. You've got everything bound up. We're ready to fly. So let's just see what we can do. I will have a full view of the SMO 4K as well as a small view of the actual uh, camera view down in the lower corner. Uh, so here we go. Now I am already starting in acro mode. Typically I always fly in acro mode and you'll just see that this thing just flies very, very well. This is a newer location for me to fly, so I'm just going to scope everything out. We've got a cool solar array over here. And I'm going to bring it by a little bit close, uh, just so you can see just how quiet this thing actually is. Woo, that was a little close. It just flies so well. This is my favorite drone, is the uh, five inch drone, is the Nazgul by iFlight. It is probably my favorite five inch drone, but all around this one has become one of my favorites. Now they say that it can support a full size GoPro. I have not tested that yet. I've done it with a naked GoPro and I've done it with the SMO 4K and it does really well with those. Um, I will be doing a future video that shows the SMO, or I'm sorry, the uh, GoPro Hero 9. We are going to strip it down a little bit just so um, it is not quite as heavy. We're going to remove the battery and we are going to also uh, remove the heavy battery door. That battery door is actually, oh, it's about 70 grams altogether. Um, and that's about twice as heavy as this 
camera setup I've got going right now. So it's just really snappy. Right now we're at about 15 volts. And flight time, we are three and a half minutes into it already. But yeah, just overall, really, really fun drone. Um, you know, I haven't been this excited about a drone in quite a while, uh, except for the DJI FPV drone, because that was just a different animal. But this right out of the box, this is the stock tune, stock PIDs. Um, it just flies really, really well. They did a really good job. Like I said, it flies really close to a traditional five inch drone. One nice thing about a smaller drone like this too, you know, it's not that much smaller, but it is a little bit smaller. You, uh, you can really get into a lot tighter gaps. You can fly this around in your backyard with no problem. It's got really good throttle control. I haven't noticed any jitters or wobbles. I haven't noticed any jello in the video. Uh, right now we are at 14.7 volts and five and a half minutes of flight time. I haven't been flying too aggressively, but Close up. <laughs> It is really windy out too, so this is a good testament to just how well this thing really does fly. That it handles the wind extremely well. And of course the digital system that DJI has, you can just see every little thing. So you don't really have to worry about, uh, you know, little branches getting in the way. You know, you can just cook along right under all these things. We are at 14 and a half volts and we are already at a seven and a half minute flight time. So very very impressive with the battery life we should be landing here shortly usually these four cell batteries i usually uh, try to land around 14 volts
We're at 14.2 and we are at eight minutes. This is a cool little park. Um, really fun. There's a little lake. You can rent boats. Um, I am right now getting to the end of my battery, so I'm going to head back. It's dropping quick. So we are at eight and a half minutes of flight time. So that is my recommendation of what drone would be a good follow-up drone to the DJI FPV drone. Just all around good flyer, good durability. You have extra thick carbon fiber on these. So if you have suggestions of what you think would be a good follow-up drone to the DJI FPV, just leave a comment down below and uh, let me know your thoughts as well. Uh, again, don't think a five or seven inch drone is a good follow-up drone if you are just getting into the sport from the DJI FPV drone. I think this one is an excellent compromise, great flyer, uh, all around well done Emacs for putting this together. So just a disclaimer, I was not paid to do any of this by Emacs. This is not a sponsored video by Emacs, and I spent my own money on this drone. Emacs had no editorial input on this video at all, uh, so this is my honest review of this drone. So that's it for this video, guys. Fly safe. Bye for now.